Puzzles on Ages. Let us start off with the first question. After 15 years, Samir's age will be 5 times his age 5 years ago. What is the present age of Samir? Okay, let the current age of Samir be x years. So after 15 years, so x plus 15, this age will be 5 times, will be equal to 5 times his age 5 years ago. His current age is x minus 5. So 5 years ago, it is x minus 5. Now we can solve this and find out the current age of Samir. So x plus 15 is equals to 5x minus 25. So 15 plus 25 is equals to 5x minus x. Therefore, 15 plus 25 is 40 is equals to 4x. Therefore, x's value is equal to 40 by 4. It is 10. So Samir is 10 years old. Moving on to the second question. The difference between the ages of two people is 16 years. If 6 years ago the older one be 3 times as old as the younger one, find the current ages. So let the ages of these two people be x and y. We have been given the difference of ages. So x minus y is equals to 16. So the difference is 16. If 6 years ago the older one be 3 times as old as the younger one. So 6 years ago the older one, the older one is x here because x minus y gives you the positive value. So the older one is x. So 6 years ago. So x minus 6 is equals to it is 3 times as old as the younger one. So 3 times y minus 6. Let us solve this. x minus 6 is equals to 3y minus 6 3s are 18. So x is equal to 3y minus 18 plus 6. Therefore x is equal to 3y minus 12. We have the value of x. Let us put the value of x here in this equation and get the value of y. So 3y minus 12 minus y is equal to 16. So 3y minus y is 2y is equal to 16 plus 12. Therefore, y is equal to 16 plus 12 is 28 by 2. Therefore, y is equal to 14. y's value is 14. Put it here, get the value of x. So x is equal to 3 times 14. 3 times 14 minus 12. And that is equal to 14 times 3 is 42 minus 12. And that is 30. So x is 30 and y is 14. So the current ages are 14 and 30. When Raj's age is multiplied with Anuj's age, we get 240. If twice the Anuj's age is more than Raj's age by 4 years, what is Anuj's age? Now let Raj's age be R and Anuj's age be A. So if we multiply R and A, we get 240. So A R is equals to 240. If twice the Anuj age is more than Raj age by 4 years, so we have twice the Anuj age is equals to Raj age plus 4 years. So R plus 4. We have to find out Anuj age. So from this, R is equals to 2A minus 4. Put it here in this equation and get the value of a that is the Anuj's age. So a times r is 2a minus 4 so 2a minus 4 is equal to 240. Therefore 2a square minus 4a is equal to 240. Divide this whole equation by 2 we get a square minus 2a is equal to 120 and this is a quadratic equation let's rearrange this a square minus 2a minus 120 is equal to 0. So if you solve this quadratic equation, I hope you know the formula, you will get values of a, you will get actually two values of a as 12 and a is equal to minus 10. You can ignore the negative value because age cannot be negative, you always take the positive value. So Anuj's age is 12 years. The father's current age is 3 more than 3 times his son's age. After 3 years, the father's age will be 10 years more than 
twice the age of the son. Find the current age of the father. Okay, let the son's current age be S and the father's current age be F. We have been given that the current age of father is 3 more than 3 times his son's age. So F is equal to 3 more than 3 times S. After 3 years, that means after F plus 3, the father's age will be equal to 10 years more. So 10 years more, so 10 plus than twice the age of the son. So twice the age of son at that time. That means after 3 years. So twice S plus 3. We have to find the value of F. Let us evolve this equation further. We have F plus 3 is equals to 10 plus 2S plus 6. So F plus 3 is equals to 2S plus 16. Therefore F is equals to 2s plus 16 minus 3. So we have the left hand sides as equal in these two equations. So we can directly equate these two equations. So I can write 3 plus 3s is equals to 2s plus 16 minus 3. So let's solve this. We can get the value of s. So 3s minus 2s, bring this 2s to the left, bring this 3 to the right is equals to 16 minus 3 minus 3. S is equals to 16 minus 6 that is 10. So S is 10 we can find out F. Put this here in this equation. So we get F is equals to 3 plus 3 times 10. So that is equals to 3 plus 30 therefore F is equals to 33 years. So the answer is option A. One year ago, the ratio of ages of Varun and Arun was 6 is to 7 respectively. Four years hence, this ratio will become 7 is to 8. How old is Arun? Well, let us consider the current ages of Varun and Arun as V and A. So one year ago, the ratio of these ages was 6 is to 7. So V minus 1 upon A minus 1 is equal to 6 by 7. So I can write this as 7 V minus 7 is equals to 6a minus 6. So 7v is equals to 6a minus 6 plus 7. So it becomes plus 1. Therefore v's value is equals to 6a plus 1 by 7. This we have found out. Let's see what else this question has in store for us. So 4 years hence this ratio will become 7 is to 8. So 4 years hence so v plus 4 by a plus 4 this ratio will become 7 by 8. So again we can write 8v plus 32 is equal to 7a plus 7 fours are 28. So we have 8v is equal to 7a plus 28 minus 32. So therefore v is equal to 7a 28 minus 32 is minus 4 by this 8 comes down. So we have the left hand sides of these two equations as the same. We can directly equate them. So I have 6a plus 1 by 7 is equals to 7a minus 4 by 8. Let us solve this. We get 8 will come to the left, 7 will go to the right and we have to multiply it. So 8 times 6, 6 eights are 48. So 48a plus 8 is equals to 7 7 the 49a minus 4 7 the 28. So this is 48a minus 49a is minus a is equals to minus 28. This 8 goes to the right. So minus 8. So therefore a is equals to minus will be removed. 28 plus 8 that is 36. So Arun's age is 36 years and we have the option C as the right answer.